that was January's picture of the month on my calendar. This month wasn't too eventful. Um, so, let's see what next month. No, I'm not going to show you next month. But yeah, that's January. Little cute doggy. Reminds me of my baby back at home. Tearing up there. Ahem. It is January 2012. So that could only mean one thing. I have a favorites video. Woot, woot, woot. Okay. I have a lots of favorites. So let's get started. Hum. I'm going to get started with the nail polish. So I have like four nail polishes that I love. Um, the first one I love E is my favorite Chinese lady nail polish. I wore it for majority of the month. And then do it off because I like change. Um, it is called Spontaneous. Mm, there's the name. And this is the polish. Looks like that. It's a nice um gray plummy purple. Not plum. Gray lavender purple. Yeah, I love it. And I always topped it off with like the last three fingers with this glitter. Boy NYC. And it is called Starry Silver Glitter. I don't think you'll be able to read that, but it's worth the shot. You can. It's number 105. Um, it was a dollar at CVS. <laughs> Might as well. I love glitter. So I got that. Um, now, this combination is so good. Um, I got my first few SC polishes I've ever owned for Christmas. Um, and this one. I hate metallics. I really do not like metallics. But for some... I'm tearing up because I put freaking eyeliner on my tear duct. Um, mm, look at the sun. It's coming out. Um, I hate metallic colors. But I decided to try it. It was a Christmas present. And I love nail polish. So I was like, let me just try it. So this is the color. BB is SC. And it's called Beach Bum Blue. I don't know if you able to read that. It focus. Is it focusing? What? It's focusing. Seriously? Woot woot. Um, <laughs> and then I always top the last three pinkies. Last three pinkies? Yeah, because I have three pinkies. The last three fingers off with this color from Sinful Colors. And it is called Nail Junkie. I think you guys saw that. Um, so, so these two together. I wish I had it on right now, but I want to be all Valentine's Day-ish with my nails today. So... Yeah, um, I would tell you what I have in my nails, but it's in the other room, and I don't remember the names. But I'll tell you in a later video, or I'll put it down below. <laughs> These two together are just gorgeous, make sense, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. That's all I can say. Um, on to, I don't even know where to start. Um, I guess fragrances. Um, I have been loving my Twilight Woods, um, it looks like this. This isn't the original bottle. Um, I have the original. I think I just got like shit all in my face. I have the original um, one that the old packaging. I have that in all three lotions and the perfume, but it's back at my mother's in a whole another state. So I'll get that later at a later date. But I've been craving to wear this. I've been wanting to wear it. So I was at the Danbury Mall in Connecticut, and I was at Bath and Body Works. Yeah, that's the name of it. <laughs> Bath and Body Works. And they were having this sale, and I got this, like, it was originally 12 50 I think I got this for, like, $4 or something, or $6, or 70% off. I don't know. It was cheaper than 12 50 That's all I remember. But I got this, and I just love it, because it smells like, it's like my winter fragrance. It just reminds me of winter, so. And I like, this is Twilight Woods, because I love the movie Twilight. I don't like the movie, I like the books. Um, now, my new Holy Girl item is... Shea butter, African shea butter to be exact. That's what it looks like. This is the bottle that comes in. My cousin got me this. He gets it from Harlem for like ten dollars for the jar. Um, so it's the best thing you can ever lotion your body with. Um, this is what it looks like in the inside. I got this on Christmas Day, and look at how much I've used already. But I still have like half the thing left, so it'll last me for another month. But just if you smell shea butter, you know what it smells like. There's no really no explaining it. Um, so yeah, I have it all over me, but it's 
a really good trick is um, what I do because I get really dry feet in the, in the summer and well, not summer in the winter. If I get seconds, I get up, right after I get out the shower, I lotion me up with this, lotion myself up with this, and I put socks on. And the next for like a week, a week later, my feet. I shower every day for that week and do the same thing. After like a week, your feet feel like baby's feet. So love this thing. Um, for ten dollars, it's and it does so much good stuff for your skin. Love it. I wouldn't recommend using it on your face though because I've tried using it on my face, but it breaks me out because it's too oily for my face. It clogs my pores. So I would don't recommend using it on your face. Um. I absolutely love my Neutrogena makeup wipes. This gets rid of all my makeup. It, um, it's a little oily. I think it's supposed to be oil free. I'm not sure. But I got this from um, Costco. A big set. It came with like five of these thingies. And there's like 25 in each. And then it came with two travel sizes. I think two or two travel sizes. Yeah. So I got that. And it's a good deals like fortune dollars for all that so yeah but i've only gone through one of them actually what happened was one thing i'm like about it is i don't like how it's like this so if it stays open all your things will dry out i had like four in my last one and they all dried out or five in my last one they all dried out so that's five that went to waste so kind of bummed about that but it's whatever um next is a candle um i got this also from bath and body works it's originally 950 i think i got this for like 275 or something like that should have got two should have got three should have got four should have got the big one but it's just i was just in a rush and i was trying to spend too much money but should have it's called hot buttered hot buttered rum and i don't know if you got that focused i hope it did um <laughs> it is like the perfect winter candle ever it it smells so good. Like, dudes, it smells... Oh. This is like heaven. It's... It smells so good. It's so good. So very, really, very really good. I need to hurry up. I have a lot of favorites. Um, Another favorite of mine is my Urban Decay Book of Shadows Volume 4. I opted to get this instead of the Naked Palette. Still don't have the Naked Palette. A little bummed, but it's whatever because I love this palette. My favorite colors in it... I only really have one favorite color, <laughs> but... It's worth this because I love it. It's Midnight, Midnight Cowgirl. I use it as a highlight every freaking day for any look I do. It is like a little piece of heaven in the middle of in my tear duct. That's what I think of it as. So I love this. It's a great investment. $64. Now, I think on UrbanDecay.com or an Ulta or somewhere or maybe it's Sephora. One of those three places is $50 now. So if I would have waited, I could have save $14. I'm a little bummed. I'm pissed. I hate when they do shit like that. It's annoying. Um, and also the thing I love that came in it is this mascara. I don't like buying um, higher end brands mascara because I feel like it's a waste because uh, drugstore mascaras are equally as good if not better. Um, but this one is my favorite mascara of all time. I think I'm going to buy the bigger one. It's like $20 I think but I might. I don't know. Uh, not sure if I can justify that. I can't, I'm not sure. But I love this. I use it every day as well. Or every day I do my makeup. For my eyebrows, I have gone back because my hair is light. It's getting lighter. Um, and I'm about to dye it red again anyways. So I'm going to have to go back to those anyways. Um, it is Embarked by MAC. It looks like this. I use this on my eyebrows all the time. I used to use Too Faced Sexpresso. But because my hair is getting lighter, it looked really weird so i'm back to using this so this is another favorite of mine um on to brushes i have one two th ooh, three four five six brushes i like i love this um mac 194 it's a lip brush um i use this f for my inner tear duct with the midnight cowgirl so i like using that to get into my eye um, this is a cold sense fluffy brush. I just use this for all over color like a nice like light brown all over my lid. I love this because it blends very well and it's just a quick wash. Um, my favorite brush of all time is this brush from the Kirkland brush set. Um, I use it for my brow bone and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have used like three different brushes in the past on my brow bone. I would always use this. 
To blend out my concealer, I am in love with the Kirkland um, foundation concealer brush. This one right there, the little like tapered brush. Love it to blend it out and it blends out like a dream. I love it. For my pressed powder, I use this one. It is just like the e.l.f. one, um, but I've just been using this just because I want to, you know, broaden my rather than It's called a cheek brush, but I use it for all over foundation. Um, I only use pressed powder. I don't use, I don't use liquid anymore. And then for this one, for my HD powder, the e.l.f. one, I use this all over just to kind of do a nice little brush of it, a sweep of it. So these are the brushes I use on a daily basis every day if I do my makeup. Favorite lipstick of the month is, of course, Vamp. It looks like this. Like that. It's a nice dark color for the... I love it for winter. That's why I love winter because I can wear my dark lipsticks and it's okay. Um, yeah. My favorite eyeshadows of the month is what I use on a daily basis. I use this white up in the top corner for my highlight. And then I use... This brown or the brown diagonal from it so these two browns for my all-over lid color so love those two colors um, I use that every day that's like a holy grail now um, oh. this is a recent add to the favorites this is like was added yesterday Dove chocolates I finished a bag of it and this is my last bag you guys, it is so freaking good. I'm not going to eat it on camera because I'm going to be really ghetto if I do that. Um, another favorite. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, she's freaking cuckoo bananas, but I am. <sighs> this is holy grail of mine. <sighs> this bad boy right here. I do not eat this. I my favorite oatmeal to eat is the cinnamon swirl one. I ate that this morning. It's so good. But this I use for my face. I ended up I was at Costco and I ended up buying this 10 pound box of oatmeal just for my face and my body for like ten dollars. The little quart size at the grocery store is like five dollars. So I was like, hmm, what should I get? An unlimited supply for ten. Or a supply that might be a little limited for five. I did the math, picked up this bad boy, and I put it in one of the Queen Helena Hel Helena um jars, like about this big. I filled that up thanks the week before Thanksgiving. So I haven't finished it and I use it every night. So mm, this is gonna be around for a few years. Love this thing. Um <laughs> Oh, holy shiz. I just realized I have favorites down there. Ooh. Okay, for hair, I'm absolutely in love with this shampoo and this conditioner right here. This is the one and only Argan Oil. You get this at Sally's, um, you get this at Bed Bath & Beyond, and some beauty supply stores. My conditioner is almost finished, and I'm about to cry. My shampoo is, like, pretty much full, and I'm a little pissed. Um, but... This stuff is amazing. I'm going to do a separate review, but I absolutely love this. I've been washing my hair with this for the past... For the past month? Yeah, for about a month and a half-ish. So, yeah. absolutely love this stuff. Um, and then I also got this. The, the conditioner and shampoo in this came in a gift set from... Um, from... Um, Sally's Beauty Supply, I ordered online. This stuff smells so good. This is the restorative mask. I absolutely love this. I use this every time I straighten my hair. Um, just so I have as much moisture in my hair as possible. So I don't strip off all the moisture with the flat iron. So I use this. Um, I like this a lot. And I got this one from Bed Bath & Beyond um, for $13. <sighs> this is the oil. Need I say more? It's amazing, 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 amazing. I love it. I love it when my hair is curly. I love my hair straight. Love it. Um, favorite thing in the world. Now for my last, sort of last favorite. Um, this curl active curl free app. <laughs> Carefree curl curl activator. I absolutely love this stuff. It is amazing. 
my hair doesn't curl as well as it used to curl. The ends have been pretty straight and I think it's because my ends are hecka split and I need to trim really bad. So yeah, but this helps it to curl better. Um, and I love this thing and it smells, it smells decent. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like, it just smells like hair products. <laughs> Um, I got that from CVS for like $3 and change or $5, something like that. So, my number one, oh, another favorite of mine is Zumba. I do Zumba. Uh, I try to do Zumba every day, but I haven't done it for like two weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta do that today, maybe. Um, I might do it today. But yeah, Zumba, I freaking love Zumba, 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 Zumba. So, I'm sure you guys this up. Oh, my favorite, my iPhone 4S. I love it. Um, I hate Siri though. Siri is no help. She looks like she helps out from the commercial, but Siri is stupid. Um, my favorite apps of the month are, I love Instagram right there. Um, I love Top Girl and Social Girl. I love those apps because they feel like I have a social life when I really don't. And I love Temple Run. So Temple Run, Top Girl, and Social Girl. And... Um, all the words with friends, hanging with friends, scramble with friends, um, add me on there, Tina being a bubby, um, I love those games, um, and that's about it. Um, my favorite song of the month, I must try to do the song of the month, my favorite song of the month is Heartbeat by Childish Gambino. <sighs> that song, like, speaks to me in so many ways, um. I was so, like, I knew Childish Gambino, but I never, I never saw what he looks like. I was just listening to his music, and I was like, this dude has a nice little flow. I like him. And I always loved Donald Glover, like, his comedy stuff. And when he was in um, in the TV show, I liked him in the TV show. I forgot the name of the TV show because I didn't watch it that, that much. I think it's community, though. Um, he was really funny, and he was, like, he seems like that dorky, like, nerdy dude. But dorky, nerdy, funny guys are, like, so attractive to me. I don't know why. So I was like, he's like the cutest thing ever. And then I was like, downloading the music onto my iPod because onto my iPhone because I was I, I this had so much more memory on it, so I can put so much more music on my thing. So I was like downloading how much music that I've been wanting to download for a long time. And I was like, oh, let me get all my childish Gambino. So I'm da da da, and I'm googling the the googling the um album artwork. I'm talking so much, but I'm googling the album artwork, and I was like. What? That's Donald Glover. Oh, he's Shadow Gambino, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like, it it doesn't look like the same person. Like, I I am still having a conspiracy that he's like a twin or something. His twin's the rapper, and he's the freaking comedian. So like, I think I love him even more now. I am like in love with Shadow Gambino, aka Don Donald Glover. I love him. He's so cute and he's funny. I love funny guys. Funny guys have a special place in my heart. So that is it for my um, favorites, I think. I hope, because I hate missing things. But yeah, that's, that's it. Um, everything will be listed below. Um, all my links are listed below. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, on Tumblr, and my blog spot. Um, blog, I always say that weird, I thought blog spot. Because I say splat bug, <laughs> I say bog splat. Um, blog spot. Follow me on there. Um, I'm trying to keep up with it, but it's really hard. So that is it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And I miss you guys. Bye. So I know I change the scenery in the video. Um, but I forgot two things to add to my favorites. Um, because I'm in such a rush. Uh, another favorite of mine is the hair, skin, and nails, um, pills. I used to use Vibratin. I used to use Biotin. Um, but when I saw my mom in Rochester for Thanksgiving, she gave me a jar of these that had 50 capsules, 60 capsules, and I finished it. And I went to Costco and got the 250, I think. Yeah, 250 for like $8. $9 plus tax. $9 with tax. Um, so I use these, take three a day. The pills are freaking huge and I hate taking pills hate it so much They're huge and these pills the biotin smell like fish um these pills smell like smell like sardines actually the biotin 
These smells like wipes, liquor, brown liquor, and mold. That's what it smells like, and it's really weird. So like all that put together. Um, like moldy water, like when your carpet gets really moldy. So yeah. That's my favorite, and my favorite show of the month, as usual, my favorite show of all time is Misfits. Um, the season just ended like last month and I've been watching it online because Misfits is a show based in the UK. I was watching it online and it ended. And it ended really, um, it was a good ending. Like I cried. I was laughing all the time and I cried. Um, but it ended and from what I hear is, um, the girl that plays Alicia, her name is something Thomas. I forget her first name. Um, I forget her name. But someone told me she's not going to be in the, in the fourth season. And if that's true, I think I might cry. Because Nathan was my favorite character um, in the first two seasons. He was in the third season. They replaced... They didn't replace him, but they got a new character. He was funny. Thank God. He was freaking hilarious. <laughs> um, I almost made me forget about Nathan a little bit. But he made, he made up for Nathan not being there. Um, but I still love Nathan. He was freaking hilarious and Irish and had the cute little hair curly hair um but she was like my favorite I loved Alicia I loved her um she was freaking gorgeous and I oh if she's not in it I'm gonna cry um only person I other I really like is that new guy I forget his name though his name is like R it's like Riley no not Riley it's like it is Riley I don't know I forgot his name his name wasn't important though he was just funny um but I just like Simon. But Simon's not enough. So I don't know what they're going to do. I hope she's not leaving the show. But anyway, this is the best show ever. Um, the first two seasons I know are on Hulu. This third season isn't on Hulu yet. You have to watch it somewhere else online. Start truth. Or whatever. Like I did. I don't, I'm not going to put the link down below. Because I think it's like copyrights. Um, anywho. But yeah. Those are it for my favorites. Um, sorry I was a little late with those um and that's about it so like i said before yeah hair in my mouth um that's, that's it that's all i'm done uh hair in my mouth okay for real bye <laughs>